The more you look down, the harder your muscles work to keep your head up. These muscles may become excessively tired and painful due to prolonged use of smartphones, tablets, or spending long hours on computers throughout the day. Experts have created a human model that illustrates how our appearance will change in the year 3000. In this model, years of looking down at mobile phones result in a hunched back, and our hands permanently take on a claw-like, finger-shaped form. Step into the captivating world of Versa Vista once again. Join us on this journey until the very end as we unveil the top, most shocking long-term side effects of using mobile phones. Get ready for a ride you won't want to miss. For many, spending a moment without a smartphone or laptop feels like a lifetime. However, a disturbing model may encourage you to spend less time with these devices. Researchers have recently developed a bizarre model named Mindy, claiming that due to our dependence on technology, humans will adopt a similar appearance in less than 800 years. Mindy, with a hunched back, wide neck, claw-like hands, and even a second eyelid, could represent humans 3,000 years in the future and beyond. Other peculiar physical features to expect include a thicker skull and a smaller brain, a 90-degree elbow, and a second eyelid to prevent excessive exposure to light. While using one hand to grab a mobile phone and work with it may seem like the easiest way, in the long run, this method can harm your wrist, hand nerves, and fingers, intensifying hand nerve pain. In fact, many adolescents and young adults are currently experiencing severe hand and arm pain, and even common medications do not provide relief. We witness many young individuals suffering from significant changes in the shape of their fingers, and aside from. The mobile addiction is wreaking havoc, giving us a mobile that no one can put down. When Steve Jobs was inventing the smartphone, his colleagues told him he was wasting company time on a frivolous pursuit. Why spend time on something trivial, they asked. No one needs a smartphone. They don't even know what smart means. Steve Jobs responded, let's create what people need. He used the example of Henry Ford, suggesting that if Ford had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses, not cars. While most people worldwide are addicted, South Korea, Australia, Israel, Spain, the UK, and the USA top the list of mobile addiction. Hardcore addicts can't part with their mobiles even for a moment. Brazil reported that its people spend four hours and 48 minutes on their mobiles daily. China follows with three hours and three minutes, and the USA with two hours and 37 minutes. However, these figures are from 2012, and the landscape has changed dramatically. According to 2018 data, Asians have taken the lead, with Thailand being the most addicted. In 2018, Thais spent an average of 9 hours and 38 minutes on their mobiles daily, fully immersed in their screens. The Philippines competes fiercely, with Filipinos dedicating 9 hours and 29 minutes daily to mobile activities. Brazil lags behind, with its citizens spending 9 hours and 14 minutes on their mobiles. Now, the tables have turned, with Asia and South America outpacing North America and Europe. What do these record holders do during their nine hours? Most of this time is spent on social media networks like Facebook and Instagram. Interestingly, Filipinos lead in social media usage globally, followed by Brazilians, Indonesians, and Thais. Statistics from mobile addicts in the USA indicate that 19% of their time is on Facebook, 14% on other platforms like Netflix and music streaming, 12% on messaging, and 11% on gaming. Only 9% is spent on shopping, reading news, and watching YouTube. Facebook tops the usage charts, and most mobile addicts are hooked on it. The problem with Facebook? Experts say it leads to low self-esteem and exacerbates depression. Even Facebook executives admit its harmful effects. Mark Zuckerberg himself advises using Facebook more judiciously. Professor Robert Lustig, a drug addiction expert at the University of San Francisco, argues that mobile addiction is akin to drug addiction. When an addict receives a like, it triggers a dopamine release, similar to the effects of drugs. Excessive dopamine secretion leads to dopamine neuron death, resulting in severe depression, akin to a drug addict lacking substances. 
One major drawback of social media is its impact on self-esteem. Constant exposure to curated content induces feelings of inadequacy, contributing to low self-esteem and depression. The World Health Organization reports a significant increase in global depression over the past decade, with 90% of cases involving young people. Despite these concerns, don't solely blame Facebook and Instagram. Many other addictions exist, such as gaming, taking photos and videos, Netflix and YouTube, which psychologists classify as lesser but still significant addictions that bring happiness, like the ping of a mobile. So if you or someone you know is addicted to mobiles, share this video. Remember, a smartphone is a useful tool when used wisely. Don't let yourself become overly dependent. In social situations, put your mobile aside, especially when with friends or family. Try keeping your mobile farther away before bedtime to avoid late night screen time. Thanks for watching Versa Vista once again. Hope you enjoy it.